In this video, we'll be demonstrating some of the major tools that are used in Peel.CAD software. To get to the software, you must first scan an item, then click on Peel.CAD during the export step of Peel.OS. You can also get there by importing a mesh previously saved with a .P3D, .PCAD, or .Peel file extension. Within Peel.CAD, you have multiple ways to align parts. You can align using a best fit alignment using automatic or manual pre-alignment modes. Here, we're showing you how you would align using the manual pre-alignment method. Sometimes you're aligning a few meshes so that you can later merge them together as one. You can also align using the manual alignment in which you can use entities you've already created to better align your part. Here, we've created a plane on the bottom of the flange and two circles, one in the large pipe opening using the whole edge and the other circle is being made where the flange's bolt would go through. Other alignment methods include point selection, often used with known XYZ locations of tooling balls on a jig, import alignment if it's an alignment you've previously used and want to use again, and entity base for when you're trying to align two different parts using the similar entities of each part. In the entity section, you'll find you can make planes and cylinders for the cylinders, we can even ensure they're perpendicular to our planes by checking the orientation box and then selecting the right plane. Another useful entity we can create is a cross-section based on your scan. This cross-section can later be sent to your CAD software and be converted to a sketch. You can also export this cross-section as a .dxf file, which will be useful if you're using a laser cutter or a CNC machine. The entities in this section can be exported as STP or IGES files as well, which can later be imported into any CAD development software, or you can directly transfer them to SOLIDWORKS, Inventor, Fusion, or Solid Edge. Other useful entities are points, lines, circles, slots, rectangles, curves, pipe center lines, very useful in the automotive industry and great for creating sweeps in your CAD software later, spheres, cones, and silhouettes. Our software has selection tools that will make it easy to choose specific parts of your mesh. For example, when you have more organic shapes or something that doesn't have obvious geometry, you select a smooth freeform part of the mesh using sudden change selection tool. We also have a grow selection tool we'll use to select more of what we already have. It's possible to copy any or all of your selection when needed. You can also delete your selection, cut your selection, or keep only the selected surface and delete everything else. Another method to select your mesh is the freeform selection tool. And if needed, you can deselect a surface by using control shift at the same time. You can select the boundary of a hole when needed too. Other selection tools include rectangle selection, brush selection, connect, similar curvature, similar normal, isolated patches, curvature selection, and triangle selection. Our improved tools allow you to clean the mesh while still having some control over how much it's deviating from the original mesh. You can fill holes, whether one by one or using the slider bar to fill in many of the smaller holes at the same time. You can edit the boundary if the end of a scan looks jagged. If needed, one could use defeature when you need to fully blend a surface with the surrounding area. Other improved tools include decimate if you need to reduce the number of triangles, remesh if you want the triangle size to change everywhere, smooth surface, remove spike, and sandpaper. Peel.CAD's edit tools allow you to change your mesh altogether. You can cut the mesh with a plane. If you need to extrude a boundary, that's also possible. When a part has a known thickness, you can use the shell or offset tool. And if a surface is inside out, you can flip the normal of the surfaces. Other improved tools include extend boundary, mirror mesh, Flatten, for when you want to take a simple 3D scan and make it 2D. Scale, 
for when you want to make your scan larger or smaller than its original size, cut mesh by curve, watertight remesh, and sculpt. If needed, you can combine multiple meshes together. It's also possible to compare different meshes to each other and merge meshes together. If you have a more organic shape, AutoSurface is a great tool. Single Patch is also available for items like propeller blades. This software can also measure basic distances and angles. Once all the necessary entities and surfaces are created, you can directly send them to our partner software such as SolidWorks, Inventor, Fusion, or Solid Edge as live editable entities, so you can continue building your CAD from there. And even if you have a different CAD software, you can simply export the entities as STP or IGES files and import them directly to your CAD software that you're most comfortable in. Thanks for watching this demonstration of Peel.CAD.